to be a learner because it's now been 15 years we are you know formal education has stopped and we are into uh, working you know uh, professional journey so that's very so NPTEL uh, a big round of applause for NPTEL and NPTEL team that they have made us you know believe that uh, learning is not an uh, you know destination it's a journey and that we are experiencing now Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to introduce myself because all the previous speakers or the you know, uh, August members who has who has shared the experience all are from education industry, primarily, uh, be it students or faculties, whatever they have done or they are doing, definitely a commendable job. Uh, I am here a odd man out because I am an industry professional, so I am nowhere related to education industry. For us, it's very you know. Uh, tedious and uh, difficult task to be on the you know on a motivation path to be a learner because it's now been 15 years we are you know formal education has stopped and we are into uh, working you know uh, professional journey so that's very so NPTEL uh, a big round of applause for NPTEL and NPTEL team that they have made us you know believe that uh, learning is not an uh, you know destination it's a journey and that's we are experiencing now. So I'll, uh, you know, uh, I'm Santosh Mandal. I'm a working professional into uh, construction and building material industry. So I have a diverse uh, background, because I was working earlier into uh, IT domain uh, in uh, business development and product management. Uh, earlier, actually, I, I felt that I, I got stereotyped in a particular role, and I was not able to move out of uh, that you know particular profile. So I thought, he, so I was thinking, what should be done to just change the mindset of the you know, market towards me? So and uh, in the uh, lockdown period, I got to see uh, NPTEL. Uh, one of my connect on the LinkedIn uh, displayed his achievement with regards to NPTEL certification. And then I got into details and then my journey started from there. So today uh, I have completed 14 courses, but 10 are uh, qualified under NPDL. So I was told that four are not uh, because they are from IIM or ISC. Uh, so out of 10, uh, in out of five, I am a topper with silver medal. So it was, it was quite, you know, sense of recognition and sense of uh, rewarding, you know, things that uh, you know made us believe and we started continuing the journey so as some of faculties mentioned it's very uh, addictive and tempting so when uh, last semester i was uh, i appeared for four courses i thought it's uh, done now i'll stop you know giving the exam again i enrolled for six courses so that's very you know tempting and addictive that's the thing no i am not i am a management graduate i am in product management role so I was in earlier in the IT domain, now I got into construction and uh, building material industry. So I got uh, diversified uh, courses done, like from uh, acoustic, building material, management. With regards to suggestion, because I feel uh, there are some, you know, chance, uh, uh, scope to improve on the course content with regards to uh, market demand, because more, uh, more of courses are academic uh, more of or with academic perspective more a practical is less that's why my personal perspective i'm just sharing it could be different for others i'm sharing my personal perspective because uh, with regards to current uh, construction industry trade sustainability and you know esg uh, things are the uh, talk of town so if we could do more on that part with regards to sustainability green initiatives and uh, esg compliance and all that would be great for industry professional like us. Thank you very much. Thank you.